welcome to gemchem now today's video is on redox chemistry now this is one of the new topic in the channel so it will be present in bsc first year syllabus and in the first video we will deal with electrochemical cells and standard potential and nernst equation now before starting if you have not watched the previous videos of inorganic chemistry for bsc first year i will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video so let us start today's video now what do we mean by electrochemical cell an electrochemical cell is a system of chemicals so arranged as to produce electric energy out of spontaneous oxidation reduction reaction so it is a cell which helps basic conversion of chemical energy to electrical energy and this chemical energy is obtained using redox reaction which is actually oxidation plus reduction reaction now example of such type of cell is daniell cell now let us see what is daniell cell now daniell cell consists of a zinc electrode dipped in zn2 plus solution and copper electrode dipped in copper 2 plus solution so this is a zn2 plus solution and this is our zn electrode and this is copper 2 plus solution that is copper sulfate and this is our copper electrode here a salt bridge is present what is the function it helps in passage of electron and no passage of ions takes place so it helps to complete the circuit now we will see what we observe in this daniell cell zinc electrode undergoes dissolution copper is deposited at the copper electrode and voltmeter reading is 1.10 volt that is here the zinc converts into zinc ion and the copper gets deposited on this cathode and the last thing is this voltmeter shows a reading of 1.10 volt now what is the electrode reaction the electrode reaction is at zinc electrode it is zn s that is the zinc solid converts into zn2 plus aqueous that is ions plus two electrons is released and at copper electrode copper 2 plus aqueous ions present here in the solution gains this two electron and forms copper solid on this cathode now overall reaction is zn s plus cu2 plus gives zn2 plus aqueous plus cu solid now cell representation is this one how to write the cell in presentation first we write about the oxidation and then we write about the reduction at the extremes we write about the solid cases that is zn and cu and in the middle portion we write the ions so see this one zn and cu in the extreme cases and the other the ions are present here and here now we will see that from this three question arises what are the three questions what is the source of potential difference recorded in voltmeter this is one of the question why this 1.1 volt voltmeter reading comes what is the reason for this value to be specific and why copper is deposited and zinc undergoes dissolution and why not the reverse occurs so these three questions will be answered in the later part of video but before answering this we have to know few basic things now we have to know what is half cell and half cell reaction an equation which describes the reaction at a single electrode of an electrochemical cell is called a half cell reaction that is for this case suppose this is a half cell and this reaction shows a half cell reaction now see an electrode and the surrounding solution in electrode compartment is called a half cell the chemical change that takes place in a half cell is described by a half cell reaction absolute value of half electrode potential cannot be measured okay but its value can be estimated with respect to standard electrode whose potential is known so if someone asks you that what is the potential of this one you can't answer directly 
you have to always answer the potential of a half cell with respect to another cell which is a standard now what is standard reduction potential if the concentration of ions is unity and temperature is 25 degree celsius the potential of electrode is termed as standard reduction potential so the concentrations of ions present in a cell is considered to be as unity and the temperature is kept fixed so the potential experienced by that particular electrode is known as standard reduction potential it can also be defined as the reduction potential of electrode with respect to she this is standard hydrogen electrode whose potential is assumed to be as 0.00004 volt at all temperatures okay so it is the potential specifically reduction potential of electrode and it is measured with respect to standard hydrogen electrode which has zero volt potential at all temperatures now what is standard hydrogen electrode the potential of a reversible hydrogen electrode this is the potential that is she potential is actually the potential of a reversible hydrogen electrode in which gas that is hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure is bubbled through a solution of hydrogen ions of unit activity is fixed at zero and this electrode is known as standard hydrogen electrode that is here the hydrogen gas is being bubbled and the pressure of the hydrogen gas is 1 atm and then it is bubbled through this solution which is 1 molar specifically unit activity concentration and then the potential which is being generated is zero now see this is the standard electrode okay and it is connected with the other half cell to gain the potential that is the potential for which it will work the reduction potential of the other half cell so we have seen here that it is defined as the reduction potential standard reduction potential of a particular half cell reaction is the reduction potential of electrode with respect to she whose potential is assumed to be as zero volt so this is taken as reference now this cell is represented as pt that is platinum h2 gas 1 atm h plus aqueous concentration 1 molar all other single electrode potentials measured with respect to she are referred to as potentials on hydrogen scale now we can answer these three questions which we have previously mentioned now we from the informations which are given we know that copper 2 plus plus 2 electron that is this reduction has a standard reduction potential of cu2 plus cu equals to 0.33 volt and this process this reduction zn2 plus plus 2 electron has a reduction standard reduction potential of about minus 0.77 volt okay now we know what is the net reaction we have seen here that is this is the net reaction so it is actually zn plus cu2 plus gives zn2 plus plus cu so what is the ultimate case if we consider this equation to be as 1 and this as 2 this ultimate equation will be obtained this net cell equation will be ob obtained by 1 minus 2 right so what will be the standard cell potential not the half cell but the total cell standard cell potential we will the subtract the values of this potential given so delta e0 is actually e01 minus e02 right 
Now what will be the value? Delta E 0 is equals to 0 0.33 minus minus of 0 0.77 right and on doing this calculation we get 1.0 volt. So we can understand that here why the voltmeter shows 1.10 volt. So if someone asks what is the reason for voltmeter to show a particular potential difference this is due to the standard cell potential and 1.10 volt is due to the deduction of the standard reduction potential of copper reaction and zinc Zn2 plus reaction and the last question to be answered is why copper is deposited and zinc undergo dissolution why not the reverse now we know that delta G if negative the process is favored and if delta G is positive the process is not favored thermodynamically. So what is the formula of delta G? It is delta G equals to minus N F E. Now if we substitute this value here what will be the value whether it will be positive or negative? Since this value is positive so positive plus negative will give us a negative value so this process is favored. But if we go for the other process that is if suppose we consider that zinc is deposited then what is the reaction? The reaction will be opposite. So we will write it as Zn2 plus plus Cu then go for Zn plus Cu2 plus and the nature will be 2 minus 1. So the delta E0 will be minus 0 0.77 minus 0 0.33 and the potential will be minus 1.10 volt right now if the potential is potential difference is minus 1.10 volt then delta G 0 will be minus NFE so this minus and this minus will give us a positive value and from here only we can understand the process is thermodynamically not favored. So thus we can prove that zinc cannot be deposited but copper deposits. So first one is right and second one is wrong. So thus this answer is being given. Now we go to the derivation of the Nernst equation. This is a basic equation of electrochemistry and redox equations. So first we have to consider two half cell reactions of a cell. Now ox1 plus any this is the oxidant plus first one oxidant first oxidant plus any giving first reductant that is red 1 and this is E10 that is standard reduction potential of first half cell. This is ox2 plus any red E20 is a standard reduction potential. We consider that let this one that is E10 be greater than E20 and here N is the number of electron which will be same for two reactions. Now what we do ox plus plus red 2 is ox 2 plus red 1. Now what will be the delta G? The delta G will be minus RTLNK plus RTLN that is this one activity of red 1 into activity of ox 2 by activity of red 2 into activity of ox 1. Here A is the activity abstract change that is gamma into C. Gamma is the activity coefficient. Okay, When we define activity we define it as gamma that is activity coefficient into concentration. For sufficient dilute solution the activity coefficient is equal to be 1. For a dilute solution we consider this activity to be 1. At equilibrium delta G is equal to minus RTLNK plus RTLNK. So we get the value to be as 0 for the reaction to take place. Now delta G0 that is standard under standard condition it is minus RTLNK that is this part is being ignored and for dilute solution 
activity coefficient is very low okay so the activity is nearly equal to concentration so this one this part is being substituted by concentration as here the activity coefficient is very low so you can add here the term as very low similarly here also same thing activity coefficient is very low now see delta g is equal to delta g0 plus rt ln a red 1 plus a ox 2 by a red 2 plus a ox 1 now we know that delta g0 is minus nfe0 we can also write it as this and delta gs minus nfe so here e0 is the value of the emf corresponding to delta g0 so we substitute the values here and here the activity is being replaced by concentration now what we do we divide the whole equation by nf so these nfs get cancelled and here a nf term comes in the denominator now we convert this ln to log so while converting ln to log we have to multiply with a factor of 2.303 now this total value of rt into 2.303 by f has a value on being calculated 0.059 volt now here r is taken to be as 8.32 joule per kelvin per mole temperature 298 kelvin and faraday that is this is faraday constant it is 96493 coulomb per mole this is the charge of avogadro number of electron taken together now here on substituting this here we get the value of 0 0.0591 and then we substitute the values here so we get the final equation e equals to e0 minus 0 0.0591 by n log red 1 ox 2 by red 2 ox 1 their concentration and always remember that this form of Nernst equation is only valid for 25 degree Celsius temperature at any other temperatures this value will vary so the value will not be 0 0.059 volt but any other values by substituting the value of temperature so this equation is Nernst equation and it is valid for 25 degree Celsius thus we derive the Nernst equation so, so this much for today thank you for watching do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you.